Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. Kaiserreich, playing, of course, as the Ottoman Empire. It's 16th December 1936, and we're going to get right back to it. The Papal Conclave, the British Side of Relief. Eugenio Cardinacci Palacelli. Okay. Which one is he? The pious dude. Which one have they gone? There's like a whole tree of which ones they can choose. They've gone Pope Pius. Oh my goodness. Now this is interesting. Ah, some cool stuff. Because they got uh, Beauty of God, some political power and a bit of research stuff. Traditional values of base national unity. Uh, recruital population. Defenders of the faith and centralize the state. Ooh. Condemn syndicalism and strengthen the borders. Now that's fascinating. Okay, well now we're going to start to build better equipment. And now it's time to keep researching, my friends. Because actually, 37, so we can start doing these. And we're just about to... Actually, we've just got the next Doctrine thing, so we can get our next Doctrine. Uh, and for us, I'm not sure. So, it's between Mobile Warfare and Spirit Firepower. So, Spirit Firepower is really, really good. It's a really, really strong Doctrine because it gives you that artillery uh, soft attack and all the great stuff. But the thing is, is that I am unsure of my population. Last time I played Guys Reich, I got wrecked because of the sheer amounts of attrition. I was dying from lack of manpower, and there was just no manpower to get. So, a good thing to do is to have Mobile Warfare Doctrine, so you can use Desperate Defense. So you can get 5% extra recruitable pop. So what I'm thinking is to grab that, because that's extra population for me. But, uh, I, but ideally go down Modern Blitzkrieg, but if necessary, and I'm losing pop, I can go to Desperate Defense. And you also get some really nice bonuses. Mostly tank-based, but... I am hoping to go pretty heavily into tanks at later, sooner rather than later, so I'm going to go Mobile Warfare Doctrine. Also increases division speed, which is pretty sexy. Um, I am now going to add an extra dude, an extra doodle. Infantry right there. So my infantry is just a little bit better. Giving us a stupidly large deficit of infantry equipment, but that's okay. Like, just, just stupidly large. Like, oh my god, that's a large deficit. There you go, give me some of that steel. Oh yeah. Okay, so then we're very gradually going to keep making more and more rifles. Have another drink. And off we go. Oh, Haiti's declared war on the Dominican Republic. Oh, it's kicking off across the world, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, looks like Canada's going to go to war Denmark. Syndicalist takeover in the Netherlands. A boiling point, French and British equipment and volunteers. The fate of the royal Dutch family is not, is not yet is yet unknown. Oh my goodness me. The Petitotum of the Totals of David Vinkoop. Vinkoop. What a name. So it looks like the Commonwealth taking the focus of demand Danish Atlantic possessions, which basically means they demand Iceland and Nor and uh, Greenland. If, if Denmark refuse, off they go to war. Alright, we're going to have grabbed organized army structure. It's going to give us a chunk of population, which will be great. You can start getting a lot more troops together. There it is. Reorganized army structure. Look at that. Almost a million pop. And then we will grab uh, Reform the Gendarme, which helps quell rebellions for the even start. And National Spirit, effective partisans on us in daily political power game. Awesome. After that, I am going to start want to start working towards the western side. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, and there's the uh, the civil war in America. The end of democracy. Hoover, uh, his administration has proven incapable of stabilizing the countries and by McCarth. What? That's not what happened. What? That's a bug. That's a bug. Jack Re Jack Reed did that. What the fuck? It was Jack Reed. What? But he was the president. Well, that's a bit of a bug, isn't it? For some reason, MacArthur took over. What the fuck? Second American Civil War, yep. They already went down all of this. Oh, what about if MacArthur is... Oh, basically, he seized power. Oh, no. General MacArthur, protector of democracy. Oh, increase of stability. Yes, because we're now at zero. Just us more factions. Destroy domestic enemies. Declare martial law. Wow. Democracy prevails in the Philippines. Okay, cool. The American Cincinnatus. Hmm. 
Let's take a look here. Sorry, I can type something. Democracy survives, gets event. Ah, so if you do that, you restore democracy to the world. Or a permanent military junta. Or the American Caesar, MacArthur the Dictator. That's what you gotta do. Oh, yes. The US Army, the Grand Strategy. Oh my god, Joint Chiefs of Staff. Look at the things you can get. Supply consumption, fight for America. Fire the guns, infantry equipment, firepower plan, mobile plan, walkie talkies. Women's Army Corps, recruit population factor. Nice. I should really go America. Their tree is fucking awesome. Sardom restored. The Russian Republic. Oh, yep, yeah, they restored the Sardom. American war economy. Wow. Yeah, you don't want the fair deal. War rationing. Move industry west. Liberty bonds, strategic services. Where you can do it. Whoa! Production cost reduction. Like crazy. Working women. Military industrial complex. Military build up. Militarized economy. Oh, what's all this? Yeah, once you finish Civil War, you can go re reconstructing America. Post Civil War America. The fall of Washington. Syndicalists have taken it over. The GI Bill. Wow. Fate of the Unions. A new America. Desegregated. America reborn. America rebuilt. Well, that's fascinating. It looks like American can become very strong there. Alrighty. Black Monday recovery for the Bulgarians. Okay. It's going fine. I'm happy with the progress. Uh, pausing the accident. Okay. So, we're attempting to just wait it out. Because we need to build up their army. And we finally reformed the gendarme, which is great. Oh, Syndicus International. It's alright, we've seen that before. So we have got the gendarme. What's the form desert forces? With our few resources in desert landscapes, we have to find a smart way of turning our weaknesses into an advantage. Deployment is organized Imperial Car Camel Regiments is the best way to do this. Camels need very little water, are adapted to the rain, and don't require any oil, giving them more flexibility than armored vehicles. So they will control desert areas. Ottoman Desert Rangers now patrol the wastes. Enables Imperial Camel Corps. Cavalry. Desert bonus. Alright, let's do it. I guess it's going to get rid of the rebels in the desert areas, I presume, because there's a lot of desert here. Also, I'm actually just going to give us a new division type. Getting rid of our deficit, which is good. In a year's time. Once we've done that, we're going to want to go left. Yeah, we're going to definitely want to start heading left and start uh, hitting up the uh, matters of the state. Spanish Civil War between the Carlists and the CNTFA. Oh, and also the Kingdom of Spain. Oh, shit. So we have Carlos Spain, led by uh, Bourbon Palma. We have the Kingdom of Spain, led by Bourbon. And then we have the CNTFA. And they're all at war with each other. Yay. Civil War. Okay. Just gotta keep building up those troops, guys. Keep building them up. Then we're gonna get on the Medicean reforms, because obviously we need to get there by June. And we can get, we need to finish all of these. So it's like three, four, five focuses. Internal stabilization. Hey, Modified Black Monday is getting a bit better. And the Belgrade Pact has been founded. Oh, shit. That's bad. So that's five focus trees right there. That's basically a whole year. So we're going to be a little bit behind in political interest, but that's okay. That's okay. Government intervention with at least partial sta stabilization. We're prepared to enact a series of intensive reforms. Yes. Getting back our factories bit by bit, guys. Amazing. Building a few civilian factories here and there. After that, I think we're going to want to start building lots of military factories. Obviously, best to put it in the best place. The most valuable place. Especially now that we can actually build more. Druze Revolt, dispersed in Syria. A large revolt of Druze tribesmen was recently crushed by our desert rangers. Hundreds of rebels have been killed. Oh, but I haven't done desert rangers yet. Uh, hundreds of rebels have been killed. While well, the Rudder rebels tribes have turned to the village and ceased their raids and their trade raids. Evidence shows these revolts are being provoked by Heshmet agents. Such pointless waste. Ah, and here we go. On the issue of Serbia, several countries have convened in Belgrade to discuss the political situation in the Balkans. During this Congress, a new military alliance was founded, the so-called Belgrade Pact. 
clearly aimed against our former ally Bulgaria, many of, of whom the countries have lost territory in the Weltkrieg. So I don't really, I think we can announce our support for them, but I don't want to join them in the war. Yeah, I don't actually want to fight, for, fight with them. That's the thing. This is good. This is uh, we're we're not having to fight loads and god loads of goddamn rebels, which is nice. So they're allied with Hesham and Arabia. I feel like maybe we should like get our troops together. Yeah, let's get literally every soldier together. Is that everybody? It's not everybody. 43 dudes. Okay, cool. And we'll divide them in half, and we'll give them our the best guys we have. Supply consumption and combat with. Yes! You will go right there. No, don't go on the German side, you idiot. Good stuff. You guys will have... Ooh, commander out of supply. And winter attrition. Winter's not really a problem for us. But we'll go there. There we go, form desert forces, and also research mission Imperial Camel Corps. What? What? What just happened? It finished Imperial Camel Corps. What the fuck are Imperial Camel Corps? Well, that was weird. Ah, look at that, we get a new unit. Elite Cavalry. Cool. All right, let's start going down the uh, the Medicean Medi Medici Medicean reforms. Beautiful. Communist France declared war on Switzerland. Switzerland would not give up uh, Romandie, so they can declare war on them. Oh my! Concentrated industry, beautiful, and also some resource gain efficiency, so we don't have to deal with too much steel loss. Russia announces the ambitions of conquering everybody, and a German Empire declared war on the Commune of France! What the fuck? What the fuck? It's 1937 and the Weltkrieg has already started. Oh my god. These two superpowers are mobilizing their armies, preparing for conflict never before seen in the human eye. The, inter main, the many detailed developments of the interwar put the ultimate test. New types of weapons, planes, artillery ships, and tanks. The first region who will emerge victorious. Oh my god. Germany's already at fucking war. Ridiculous. You son of a bitch, Germany. The nationalist coup in White Ruthenia. After the Weltkrieg, the Germans formed a White Ruthenian state in the, in the Vid Rus. Even the local population could hardly be considered a single nation before. This lack of national unity didn't stop the Germans from imposing their order of the country. Prince Sigismund of White Ruthenia, the leader of the Belarusian nationalist forces, has seized control of the country that the previous king put, perished in a theater explosion. Well, <laughs> Jesus. So he's rebelled against Germany. They don't get their own tree, though, but that's cool. Lithuania gets its own tree. That's pretty nice. It's a pretty basic tree, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty basic tree. Oh, like the election of 38. Declare the Republic. Reorganize the state. Wow. Vacation in Varnia. National Day. United Baltic States. Oh. Remain aligned with Germany. Clash the radicals. Revise the constitution. Well, you don't want to do that. You gotta be independent and awesome. And then we have the United Baltic Duchy. Emancipation. Russification. Oh my. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Okay. That's it. Korea has declared war in Japan. Oh my. Poor Korea. They always do this. They always declare war in Japan. I've never seen them win because they get destroyed. The Armenians have refused to arrest uh, the agitators. The foolish Armenians have refused to arrest the agitators they have shown to the Ottoman Empire. Loot, lodge a protest in the fort they comply or threaten them with war. Buddy. Pal. That's not cool. I will have to annex you. I will have to annex you. 
I will do it. I'm freaking crazy, bro. Why, why can't I delete this? So Nicholas and threats to Burma. King of Poland's declared war in Ruthenia. It's kicking off. No, I've tried to delete this front line. There we go. Now it's working. Surprising, we're getting like no attrition. Armenian government requests assistance. The Armenians have arrested several people who were responsible for the unrest there. They've requested some troops to put down the unrest. There was risen. The fear is the country once again be drawn to a law now occupation. There was also the Russian question the presence of Turkish troops. Send in the troops or not worth the damage. Send in the troops, ladies and gentlemen. What are these guys doing? What are you doing? Is there any good resources here? There's a lot of oil to the east. I like oil. In Azerbaijan. What's the plan here, buddy? Oh, that's attrition. Do not want to deal with that. Mesodian reforms. Beautiful. Alright, let's go... So if you get on the, uh, the research slash research, well, I really want to get on the enact rule of law. Um, judicial reforms, political power gain, or production efficiency caps. Let's go administrative reforms. It is no secret away administration behind the times. So let's take steps to ensure better administration. We are redefining the wages of civil servants. Switching to the metric system, adopting the standard Ottoman script as proposed by academia. Yes. Okay. I don't think we need this many men. Let's just put this, uh, we'll give this guy a general. Yeah, the Desert Fox. You'll go there. And you guys will go back there. Just in case. Mongolia won. Oh my. Mongolia is growing, led by Ungun Khan. Uh, I love. I read about Ungun Khan, Ungun Stoneberg, if a guy. I, I know you, If you haven't seen it, I do make sure you check out my Hearts of Iron 4 uh, Mongolia series in Kaiser, because it was a lot of fun. Um, I read about him. I actually bought, I bought the book about him, which is called uh, Men, Beasts, and Kings or something like that. And it's very, very interesting. Okay, so centralization and decentralization. While the article went away, the Ottoman constitution declares that the valiates to be governed by the principle of decentralization. This de jure principle is never trans transformed into action. Now that our civic administration reforms are underway, the proponents of the doctrine of Adam and are again asserting the subordinating local decision making of the central bureaucracy results in tremendous inefficiency and pointless delays. With our distant subjects chafing under the direct rule of the Constantini, it would be wise to give more power to local governments that are over our centrally appointed governors. Shall we grant greater powers and freedoms to the administrative council of our villiers? More power to local governments? Yes, or I don't see the need for reform. Let's go to local governments. We get infrastructure, a bit of civilian factory, and some political power. Why not? They're cool. Look at this, though. Also, we can grab early mobilization. How awesome. Which gives us, five, which gives us a bit faster construction speed. And more factories. Oh, yes. Everybody likes more factories. We're very slowly catching up with our deficit. Very slowly. Jewish immigrants from Algeria. While the current anti Semitic persecution rising in national France, many Algerian Jews have arrived in our nation seeking refuge and the right to, to resettle in Palestine. Welcome them with open arms. Or we have enough problems of our own. Welcome them with open arms. Palestine Vampire 2000. Let's do it. How's the war going? Oh, Germany is uh, getting attacked by Netherlands a bit harshly. Looks like they're going to die. Looks like they're going to die. That's a shame. Egyptian weapon shipment caught in Basra. Thanks to an anonymous tip, two shipping containers full of rifles were discovered in Port Basra. Originating from an Egyptian port, these containers have been brought in by a Spanish freighter. It appears weapons are destined for rebel groups in southern Iraq to be used against our soldiers. We'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, 600 British rifles have been added to our stockpile. Gain armed rebels, you dick. And there we have the Canadian Commonwealth has declared war against the Union of Britain. Oh my goodness. They, are they friends with Germany? Serbia has declared war on Bulgaria. Oh my god, let's make a save here. Let's just do it just in case. Ottomans pre 
Uh, Bog War. Here we go. The Fourth Balkan War. The country is reborn after the Valkyrie, Great Bulgaria, the Titan Peninsula, uniting all Bulgarian lands and beyond. This kingdom for all Bulgarians is born with bloodshed and war. Those defeating Serbia, Greece, and Romania in the Valkyrie. Okay. This essentially led to reformation of the Belgrade Pact. Do we join them? I don't think we do. I think we'll just send aid. Yep. Just send aid. We can't really do anything else. Sorry, buddy. Life's cruel. I would like to start working on tanks eventually, so I think it's a good idea to start working towards tanks. Although I do want to keep working towards doctrines as well. Looks like Armenia has survived. That's cool. Catching up with our uh, stuff. Haiti took one state. Heshemite spies caught in Damascus. Our gendarmerie working together the local law enforcement managed to arrest several Heshemite spies in Damascus. Detailed maps of the region and intelligence notes on military, Ottoman military strength were found in possession of these agents. Their mission seems to be the formation of clandestine cells across Syria, which would be activated in case of war. You bastards. These son of a bitches just keep trying to get war on us, don't they? Panama's declared war on East United Province of America, and Russia's declared war against other things, and Panama's declared war. Oh my god. War is everywhere. Very interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh, Germany's pushing through into France. Looks like they're holding back. Poland moving into Ruthenia a little bit. Yep. Sorry, Korea. You were annexed. Life is pain. Maybe we should start trying to justify on these butt faces. 120 days is basically nothing. Right? We can just conquer all this for free. Why the hell not? Right? Administrative reforms, nice. Is there actually a way to get... Well, let's just, yeah, let's just keep doing this. I don't, think, I don't really think we want to go to war just yet for all these powers. Though the Don Caban Union will be declared war on very soon by Russia. So I think it might be a good idea to try and grab Azerbaijan and all this crap. Persia might be doing some stuff to us too soon. Ineffective administration. It's been several months since we formally adopted the metric system of Solomon script. We're still receiving troubling reports of incompetent bureaucrats who aren't using them properly. Son of a bitch. You guys suck. Construction 2. Nice. Ba, 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 ba. We should get fighters. Okay. We're still building lots of troops, which is great. Kicking up that infantry equipment a little bit. Bit by bit. Gathering some of the supplies. Tungsten. The, all that oil over there is very useful for us. Because we'll be able to get a lot of factories through exporting it. So taking Azerbaijan, I think, is a high priority. I mean, also the Don Cape Union. Oh, Lithuania has been declared Warren. Ah, no. Oh, shit. They just annexed the Don Cayman Union. What? What? They just annexed it for free. Why? Why did they get that? No. No, they got it for free. What the fuck? I didn't know they'd get that for free. Oh, I wanted to take that. Shit. We're definitely going to want to hold on to this then. Because these mountains and stuff. Yeah, we're going to need a good border against Russia if we're going to attempt to survive. Oh, Bulgaria is fucked. Bye, Bulgaria. Because Romania is going to get a large chunk of that. And, uh, yeah, they do get some claims on me. They do. The rise of the Mongol Empire. Oh, my God. He's Ungun Khan. Interesting. Where's the claims he gets in the Ottomans? It's somewhere, I know. Oh, it's the Bulgarians who have that. Oh, okay. We can just declare war on them for free, then. So this is going to be ready on the 24th of March. Oh, maybe we should just do this now, then. Excavation. All right. Alright, everyone go here. It's, it's desert, so you might as well go there. Yeah. 
No, you ass. No, stop it, you dick. We just want the front line there. There you go. Might as well try it, you know. Might as well just find these guys too. I mean, why not try and get a secure border here? Bureaucratic reforms, good stuff. Let's go legal reforms. This is good. Alright guys, this is the end of the second episode. We're going to end it right here. Make sure to leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I'd love to hear your feedback. It's always greatly appreciated. You can also subscribe to me on Patreon. Links are in the description. And of course, do also check out all my other series on my channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I was Aldrin. I continue to be. This has been some Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich of the Ottoman Empire. Bye-bye.